Oh, don't forget to leave a like. Leave a like. Leave a like. Please. Thank you. Check that out. It's like a building, but with King Kong on it. See it? Here, let's zoom in on it. It's kind of cool. It's the Wax Museum. Anyway, I just thought I'd want to show you guys that. Being here in Pigeon Forge. You guys ever in town make sure to hit me up It'd be kind of cool to hang out with somebody that's watching my channel but yeah just thought I'd show that to you so I bought another security camera today and my other security camera is telling me to leave um, that's typical in the garage though but anyway uh, I got a new type of camera this one uh, just like the other ones it has all the nice features to it and stuff, but this one um, Has motion tracking in it so it distinguishes between an animal and a human and it will notify me that There's something going on and of course I'm gonna link it to my network so that way when I'm sitting at work or I'm at Home Depot or whatever I get a notification that there's movement or somebody's in my house or whatever because I have these things set up everywhere uh, this will be number five right now. I got two inside, two outside, and now I'm about to have a third one outside on the back to watch the back side of the house. Kind of like that camera there. You see how I have that one mounted uh, to a piece of wood and then it's ran through? Uh, I'm basically going to achieve the same thing. So, um, And then these, let me show you these. These... Oh, it's turned off. It's not on. The light's not blinking on it. Um, these were my original setup, and I actually have these incorporated into my new ones. But my new ones, um, they they rotate. They go up and down. They have night vision. They can extend uh, water. They can extend to extreme colds. Uh, I mean, it's it's a good it's a good camera. They're about sixty bucks a piece. Um, and of course, I have them everywhere out through the house. Here, I'll show you where another one is located. Alexa, pause. Gotta pause the Alexa. Okay, so in here, I know it's kind of dark, but that's okay. See the camera? It normally faces this way. So that way, anybody that walks into the door or into this house get seen by this camera and that's pretty cool how those infrared lights are getting picked up by the camera do y'all see that that's trippy I like that check that out that's pretty cool but anyway uh, let's show you where I'm gonna install the new one at <clears throat> and we'll have an extra there's also one at the end of the hallway but the doors kind of hiding it and then there's one in the bedroom there's one in my computer room um, and then there's two of them that I'm not going to tell you where they are because if you try to rob my ass I'll catch your ass on camera, but I also have alarms and everything else to go with it I got sensor alarms on all my doors and windows and everything But anyway, I'm gonna take this and mount it up there in the corner and then mount the camera to this and then run the wiring into the house and hook it all up don't forget to remove the, the little blue, whoops, the little blue cover right here over the lens. I forgot to do that last time when I was wondering why everything was blue. Um, if you guys want to know more about this camera, I will leave a link for you down below. Um, it has like 18 different features. It's ridiculous. Waterproof, motion sensor, animal detection, it can tell the difference between an animal and a person. It has weather, waterproofing. 360 degrees up down left right um, it's Wi-Fi it can be hard line see you could either do a Wi-Fi or hard line but um, I run everything off of Wi-Fi all right so I got the camera mounted I attached that right there so I can zip tie this wire to it um, but we're just going to mount it way up there 
I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do it. I'm going to stand on this sketchy thing with wheels. Not a great idea. But hey. Oh, don't forget to leave a like. Leave a like. Leave a like. Please. Thank you. All right. So oh, let me turn the light on. There we go. All right. So I have the camera hooked up and installed. I just got to run the wires down and hide them and then run it in but it's ready to go. One of the other things that I did do for security was I had these motion lights everywhere. See they all along so that way when you get near them they will trip. So that way if somebody comes up on the porch um, at night well it's because it's there's no light there it goes. See when you walk on here it's supposed to trip them and it goes all the way down too so like if we were to walk down the down through here see it trips them all on that way if anybody does come up on the porch or the back area see it lights it all the way up and I got that going all the way around and then up here is another security motion light and then I put this gate up like this and made it to where you can't get over or under and then I put metal screen see all the way along all the way along so that way you can't stick your foot in there and try to hop over it and if you do well I got nasty little surprises waiting for your ass look at them see I got nasty little surprises waiting everywhere and then we had somebody try to get into this window and they used this set of stairs so I took the stairs out and then I put screw heads all along it so that way if you go to put your hand there or your foot there to hop over this you get stuck and I have nails protruding look there's one there one there one there one two three four I have them all the way along to about somewhere down there is where it actually stops and then of course I have another camera sitting there watching the side as well as the other one that I showed you that is watching the side the next thing that we're going to do is put a gate up between here and here to keep people from going back through there up into my yard which is what I don't want hence the reason why I've installed another camera um, also my dogs and my animals they always go down here at the end of the yard and I can never see them so what I did is, is I added another motion light like this one here you want in go ahead go inside all right see got a motion light for the stairs come around here there's another motion light and then above you another motion light all right here and then if we come down here this is what me and my dad did and I'm actually going to install another one of these well actually I've installed two of these so far and I'll show you both of them so anyway I got this pole sitting down here and it's concreted into the ground and stuff but it has motion lights on it so that way if you hop over my fence or you come in my yard at all see that it lights up this area because my dogs and my bunny and everybody would come down here at the end of this fence and I could never see them so I wanted motion lights everywhere so that's what I've done and then here I'll take you guys over here and show you the other side of the security light that I was talking about that one this is the other one I think I've showed you guys this one before but this one runs on a dial cell so basically what happens is when day goes to night this light will come on and it works really well it lights up my shed and stuff um, we, we just installed these two motion lights here and then I want to install two more over here to light up this area. You see how dark it is? I don't like that. Uh, when me and my wife get home at night, um, this area used to be very dark. Well, we installed that motion light. And then, of course, I've added another motion light right here on the front. So if I walk up over here, see, it clicks on. And we're going to add another one down there and we have alarms and sensors so if you come up my driveway you come through my hallway you come through my door I will know about it an alarm triggers every time we have noise alarms and it sends it to our cell phone so you can never have too much security you know what I mean never always have security guys 
that's that's like number one in my book security 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 um, so I think we're done over here the only thing I got to do now is program it and get it turned on and we will be good to go so make sure to leave me a like on this video guys I appreciate y'all watching and as always you guys be cool and I'll see y'all in the next one peace so anyway got the new camera on and what it's doing is, is it's just kind of going through its its sequences uh, waiting for me to program it so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now